everyone. My name is Gina Takasugi. I'm the Director of Student Affairs here at the Seattle Graduate Campus. And um, I've had the fortune of, great fortune, of working for Northeastern since we opened our campus here early in July 2013. Um, <clears throat> before we had all these wonderful students, I worked on the admissions team and um, was always very um, amazed and impacted by the caliber of student that was coming and that Northeastern was attracting. And uh, they were, as you can see here today, very hardworking, passionate, kind, and really, you could tell, had the motivation to really make a change in their life and in their career. Um, so it was always neat that they, they looked to Northeastern. And so I felt the fortune, actually, of knowing a lot of the students sat here today, uh, since they were early on in their early days still, still considering graduate programs and, and working through their applications. So it's really an honor for me to be here to congratulate you guys. Uh, one such passionate, driven, and hardworking student that I was talking to in early 2014 let me know that she was looking at relocating from her home country of India with her then fiance to start a new chapter here with her fiance in Seattle, and that she would like to pursue her master's of science in computer science. And I thought, what, what a neat opportunity, how exhilarating that this student is coming here, relocating across the globe, coming with her fiance to start this new adventure. Um, and what an honor that she would want Northeastern to be a part of this and really help her make that change in her life. Um, that was just over two years ago now, and Divya Dabaraj, now married, is sitting amongst her colleagues here, uh, having successfully completed her Master of Science in Computer Science. Um, so it's a very great honor to introduce to you your student speaker, Divya Dabaraj. Uh, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity to address you all at this uh, graduation recognition ceremony here. Uh, thank you, Gina, for the flattering introduction about me. And uh, as you all heard, so I was around 21, 22 years old, and I think I made uh, two most important decisions in my life. One, I was that time I was like I had just graduated from my bachelor's, and I was working at IBM India. I felt I'm not working up to my full potential, and you know I could do more. So I decided, okay, I'll go to US do my master's and see what's happening from there. And that's when I also met an incredibly supportive man. And I decided to marry him. And <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. And you know, he's always there for me. And uh, so we were. And he's based out of Seattle. So I didn't want to stay away. So I said, okay, I'll choose some university in Seattle where I could do my masters. And that's when we got in touch with Gina. And we kept, <laughs> you know, bombarding her with admission questions. What is this? What is that? And uh, initially, when I applied, I had my doubts. So I made my fiance come over to the campus and look around here and tell me how the campus is, what's the thing. And <laughs> incidentally, or you know, he's also a graduate from Northeast University, but the Boston campus. <laughs> and he's also a master of science in computer science. So he came and he said that, uh, you know, it's nothing like any of Boston. And uh, he said, it's not your traditional university with big campuses and you know, you get lost in between. It's a very small campus. It's a beautiful campus from across Amazon. And uh, I think they know what they're doing. I think you should definitely give it a try. You can definitely pursue this. So that's why we decided to take NU Seattle. And uh, right after this decision is when we got married. So <laughs> I would say it is one of the best decisions in my life till now. And uh, so the other thing was, once the, I mean, when I was telling my friends and you know family that if I'm going to do my masters, everybody was like, oh, it's going to be very difficult. And I was like, oh yeah, maybe because they're not very good at studies, you know. <laughs> That's what was happening. <laughs> because I was always an above average student. And every time I got through an exam was because I prepared at the last minute. I hardly cared to, you know, prepare from first and work hard. But once I started the program here, and that's when all the problems about, you know, hard work and success started making sense, you know. About, you know, about all of this. So uh, through that then, so initially when I joined the program, it was very tough. I mean, obviously I didn't get through because I was preparing the last minute, so I couldn't complete my assignments. So then my husband always told me, you know, you have to start early, and then I started, okay, is this how I'm supposed to go about learning this? And that's how I strategized. So one thing I would say is, as much as I learned computer science, I also learned a lot about my life. It's like when I, when the situation came, like, you know, whatever I knew didn't work, so I had to think of a new different strategy. That's how I learned about how to strategize things in my life when the situations demand so. 
So once I learnt it, then I it was my pure hard work and passion that got me all the grades that I wanted in the other semesters. So one thing was after even before I completed my bachelor's, I had offers from four different companies in India. And uh, here I was looking for internships. Trust me, I didn't clear ten interviews, not companies, interviews. And after every single rejection, I'm like, okay, am I this bad? And then finally, my 11th company, I got the summer intern. So during these times, I learned about perseverance and to believe in yourself when nobody does. That's when my husband always kept telling me that you, you just got to keep knocking all the doors. The right door will definitely open for you. Don't stop. Just keep pushing through it. Thank you, Anush, for it. <laughs> I still had three courses and I still hadn't found a full time opportunity and uh, I was thinking okay what do I do now and then my husband suggested me like why don't you take the three courses and you know continue looking for full time. I, I'm sure things will fall into place so I was like okay. Uh, a lot of my well wishers they were like you know uh, you know three courses, three four credit courses plus looking for a full time opp opportunity is going to be very stressful so why don't you cut down but then something inside me said no, I think you can. Just believe in yourself, push through it, take up this challenge, you can definitely do it. Uh, strangely, whenever I went for interviews, when people ask me, what is the challenge that you're facing in life? What is your biggest challenge? You know, the cliche question. <laughs> I never had anything convincing enough, you know, it was just some tale that I used to tell. But I thought, okay, why could, why not? This could be it. You know, take up three courses, take up uh, looking for a full time, also manage your family. So I took up it and uh, it was through pure hard work that I was able to push through it. And at the end of the semester, I had only a full-time offer from the company where I interned. And I was still looking for other opportunities. So what I did was okay. And I still continued to push through. And in less than a month of graduation, I got through GoDaddy. And I currently work at GoDaddy as a full-time. It's a software development engineer too, which I'm incredibly proud of. It's a great company. And the one thing that I would also say is um, uh, the coursework about uh, this one. So I would say I'm using every single thing of, about what I learned during the coursework. Like when I was initially doing my course, I'm like, do people even use this? Why are they putting us through this rigorous thing? And I'm sure all the CS people know which course I'm talking about. <laughs> so I was so much I had, you know, against the course. Why am I going through those? But I now thank the course, thank the entire curriculum for you know, uh, teaching us uh, all these great things and I think it's a fantastic curriculum. Uh, so apart from that, uh, one other thing very different about this university is all our professors come with a plethora of industrial knowledge. Not just, you know, teaching experience but also some industrial knowledge. So whenever we were in class, they used to always say, okay, this is the concept here theoretically, but practically let me tell you how with this done in companies like Microsoft and Google and Amazon. And that also gave us a lot of insight. And our professors were always there to support us. Uh, Professor Theo was very kind to be my mentor when I asked him, you know, I'm struggling through interviews, could you help me? So he very kindly agreed to be my mentor and got me through the process. And I thank you, Professor, for supporting me. And Professor Jim was so kind. He gave me a ride home every single night after the class for an entire semester. <laughs> every single night he dropped me home. Thank you so much. And uh, here we have a wonderful team. I would say Gina, Gulbeen, Anne Maria, uh, Paula, Ian, Paco, Jennifer, Laura, Freddie, Stan, all of you guys. <laughs> you are amazing. You are more like a family. And you know, uh, it's so nice to have known to each other, known you all so personally. And, uh, Always there to support me whenever I ask you for academic advice or you know anything to get done. Seriously, you guys rock an amazing team. And I want to thank you, Anush, for putting through, putting up with me through my coursework and uh, my bad cooking. Thank you to my family and uh, my family here and my family back in India for all your all your prayers and blessings. I couldn't have done this without you. I stand here as a proud graduate who is ready to take on more challenges in life. Uh, keep pushing myself, keep believing in myself and uh, one thing I would like to say is uh, hard work will definitely pay off. All we have to do is just keep at it. We are definitely will get through what we want. And again, okay, congratulations fellow graduates, we made it through this. Now it's time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. <laughs>